What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 2 and 0 Got Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Now, y'all saw it in the title. We got them right here. Thanks to Champs for choosing me in the drawing. I did get chosen. Move this bag. I did get chosen San Marcos, Texas, so I had to go out there to get these shoes. Uh, but yeah, y'all see the regular box. Nothing too crazy. Another Yeezy 350. Turn it around over here. Y'all can see it's a size seven and a half, so definitely not a personal pair. Uh, but now that I've seen them, or now that I have them in hand, I can check them out and see what they actually look like. And the colorway is just clay, clay, clay. So just number clay. US size seven and a half, small foot gang. But these are going for a good little, damn, good little pretty penny. So let's pull these out. Hmm. Okay. Bam. Here we have it. The Yeezy Boost 350 Clay. This was a US exclusive. They did have different colorways dropping in different parts of the world. You can see it has like just straight up, to me, just straight up orange right here. The camera's not really catching it that that great i'm trying to get the colors as best as i can but yeah as you can see this right here is actually looking like what it looks like in the camera it just looks like a looks like a brown to me with brown laces the interior as well is brown it has that 3m hit for the three stripes um and it just says adidas yeezy on the inside as all of them do which y'all can barely see right there but not much to say on these shoes. I mean, I like the way they did this, that the the rubber's like that, I guess, kind of orange, brown, clay color. Um, not the biggest fan of this shoe, to be honest. I really wanted to get it so y'all could check them out. But it is, it is, it's not a bad colorway. At least they put a little bit of color on this shoe. And they tried something a little bit different with the bottoms, which you can see here has like an orange hue to it. Um... Because the other shoes that have been coming out that have been just white and stuff like that uh, just seem too plain. And then you still got to, well, it mainly was in the 700s and other models, but it's 300 price tag, 220 price tag on these, 240 which, with tax or 238, something like that. But uh, yeah, it has that tag as you can see, straight legit, straight from Champs, Easy Boost 350 V2. No early reviews here, don't want none of that. Uh, whether they're fake or real or whatever. And you can see on the inside, just cause I noticed it, I'll throw it in. You can see right here, this is what gives it extra support. So it's not just cloth um, for where the lacing system goes. And overall the 350, I did have the Pirate Blacks, the original V1s, but I ended up selling them. I just couldn't pass on the price they were going for. But yeah, from what I've heard on these, when you wear a different color socks, since it is a mesh material, which you can see right here, you can see through the, the actual material, which you can see my finger right there. So if you wear different color socks, it may show through different different ways. You may be able to make the shoe look better, or if you wear the wrong color, it may look worse. You just gotta be kind of picky on what kind of socks you're gonna rock with them because it may change the look of the shoe. And like I said, overall, it's just clay, clay, clay. It does look more like an orangey hue here. This is just straight orange, but the camera's kind of picking it up. But you could tell the difference between the brown and the, the orange. Um, but yeah, comment down below if y'all even went after these, if y'all just got them to resell them, because the prices on them are actually pretty decent. This seven and a half is going for like 400 on StockX right now. So, I mean, I can sell these, flip these, and that'll help pay for some of the price of this shoe back here which if y'all haven't seen that video i'll go ahead and put it right here so y'all could check that video out and of course you got the boost on the bottom white boost they are comfortable don't get me wrong but i don't know just a cloth upper doesn't really justify the 220 price point in my opinion but i am a nike head a jordan head so i guess i'm biased but it is still a dope shoe, something different, like I said, I've already said this. Um, I don't have too much to say on the colorway. Uh, maybe they could have made this more of an orange instead of a brown. 
because it just looks like a straight brown if i can get it i can see that on camera right there that's the actual color right there it's coming out good on camera and this is just straight orange it does have a little bit of orange right here going through that stripe but as far as the actual upper it looks more like a brown it doesn't really look orange and of course the the stitching right here you could really tell right there is just straight brown but anyway guys i'm gonna show y'all closer ups on the b-roll you know how i do i don't want to make this video too long i just wanted to show y'all that i did pick these up and get your thoughts on the shoe whether you like it whether you hate it whether it's not worth it or whether you just got it for resale 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 which i've seen a few people at the mall that were kind of that kind of had that vibe they had four or five bags and they were already looking prices on stock eggs so it is what it is but hopefully you if you wanted this pair and went after it did your due diligence and signed up for your raffles you got your personal pair if you wanted this pair um but yeah guys let's get to the b-roll i'm gonna get out of here i've been rambling on long enough hit that thumbs up as always don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and it's your boy tony with 210 guy kicks coming at you with yet again another video peace guys to the next one